Bullseye. Here is more interesting information about our melanated people. Brought to you by John Henry Media Network that may pique your interest enough to do your own research. To find out more facts that we may have not have uncovered in our quest to provide you with a brief synopsis of historically factual data concerning the greatness of our melanated people of color. Contact us today to find out how to properly submit your own little known and valuable information to assist in giving our future generations an increased understanding to help develop an elevated sense of self so that your new and verified researched material may be heard by millions today. Sarah Rector was a young black girl born in Indian Territory on March 3, 1902. Her parents were Joseph and Rose Rector, all of Taft, Indian Territory. Her story is similar to that of Danny Tucker, another black child born in Indian Territory. He, like Sarah had a humble beginning, and he, like Sarah would make headlines for sudden wealth acquired by oil-rich land. Early in her young life, Sarah received a land allotment like all who were members of the Creek Nation. Like thousands of blacks once held in bondage by the five slave-holding tribes, Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw, Creek and Seminole nations, she and her family members received land allotments prior to Oklahoma statehood. It was a general practice that freedmen often received land considered to be of less value for farming as did citizens declared as Indians by blood, and intermarried whites. However, the story changed when oil was discovered on her land allotment near Taft, Oklahoma. Her wealth caused immediate alarm and all efforts were made to put the child Sarah under guardianship of whites whose lives became comfortable immediately. Meanwhile Sarah still lived in humble surroundings. As white businessmen took control of her estate, efforts were also made to put her under control of officials at Tuskegee Institute. Much attention was given to Sarah in the press. In 1913, there was an effort to have her declared white, so that because of her millions she could ride in a first-class car on the trains. Yeah. Mimi Till Mobley, the mother of Emmett Till once said, Two months ago, I had a nice apartment in Chicago. I had a good job. I had a son. Whenever something happened to Negroes in the South, I said, that's their business, not mine. Now, I know how wrong I was. The murder of my son has shown me that what happens to any of us anywhere in the world had better be the business of all of us. He looking down like what happened to this hip hop John Henry Media Network has increasing popularity in the following top countries, and they are, the United States, the United Kingdom, France, the Bahamas, Canada, the Netherlands, Germany, Afghanistan, and the land down under, Australia, and last but, not least Romania, we want to take this precious time to thank all of you great people in the previously named top countries who listen to and really appreciate our ongoing podcast media episodes. All of your generous support and donations are welcomed, from John Henry Media Network in the United States of America, so, keep listening and we will all, keep, on, growing and learning. Stay tuned in. The next episode will begin soon. You have just heard another great and powerful message for our black community. 
brought to you by John Henry Media Network in the United States of America. This is the place for you, your family and friends to hear educational messages and music from other very important black people to help build a stronger and more revolution-ready black America. Your message will awaken another sleeping giant. So, contact us today at jahu.enterprises at yahoo.com. I say again, that's jahu.enterprises at yahoo.com. Get your music or message heard by millions for another generous donation today. Now, the weather's gone, the sun is shining.